running. Next milestone I think is full speed lacrosse and like change of direction. So I started some like 75% on that kind of stuff, but hopefully soon I'll be doing full speed, like change of directions and dodging and stuff. They said one of the first things I'll do full speed is dodging because they know how much I like to do that. So that's exciting. I thought Skane should have taken that, taken that one. Oh, they're beautiful. Now she does, and it leads to a goal. Izzy Skane. A human highlight reel. The nation's leading scorer shows why in a critical moment. So I tore it in November. It was our last fall ball game. Um, I went down, just my foot got caught on the turf and kind of felt a pop, the classic like ACL story. Um, and then got my MRI and found out it was my meniscus, ACL, LCL, all the good stuff. Let's talk about this Northwestern team for a moment here. Playing without last year's Big Ten Attacker of the Year. Izzy Skate, right? Led the nation, averaging 6.1 goals a game. Not playing this year. Skate out. train out with an injury. You know, you just don't want to see kids get injured. Um, it's, you know what the challenges are, you know what the struggles are. But once we can kind of get past that initial warning of what has happened, uh, then it's like, okay, how are we going to grow here? The girl like caught and the girl hit her here. No, like the girl, whoever was defending her was here and she caught it here and shot. It was really interesting. I've always had sports and I've always had competition and I've always kind of expressed myself through athletics and stuff like that. So I think being out really made me kind of like take a step back and process like who I am outside of an athlete. And my teammates and coaches did like wonders in helping me do that and helping me remember that I have a role on this team outside of being like a goal scorer or a offensive player, but also just as a friend and a teammate. Oh, we're gonna watch this. We're about to get it back right now. Watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. They get a whole different perspective. You see things from a different light that you might never have had that opportunity to see before. Here we go, IP! I was always kind of like the, I'll just like on the field, I'll figure it out kind of thing. And um, definitely like gave me like a, almost like a little coaching knowledge, which I didn't have before, which was kind of a fun part of it. I knew like what she was about to go through was gonna be a really hard, long process. And if I could help her out in any way, then I wanted to. For Izzy, seeing Elle come back and come back strong um, and just, you know, see that she was able to just overcome that fear of, you know, there's always a lot of fear when you first come back. She's an even better player now than she was before the injury, which I always thought was like so crazy and so inspirational. And I got super close with her through that whole process and her younger sister, Jane, um, who also did it, it kind of runs in the family. I mean, I don't think I could have done this alone. Like having Izzy, someone who's super positive and obviously someone who's been through it. Um, I think I grew as a person and I think it, I owe a lot of that to her just because um, I looked at her as like an inspiration, a really good example. So she really helped me through all that. She would be on the sideline, but she would have her iPad. She'd be watching the film, helping the attack, everyone, and just always being the loudest teammate. She came out on the other side, I think, a lot stronger, 
faster, better, even like Izzy Skank could get better before their injury, you're like, I'm like, watch out, because here she comes, and I think it's really exciting, and I'm really happy that I could be here for her. Wharton finalists in 2021, 124 total points for 27 in black. Skeen averages over five points per game in her career. People are like asking me like if I'm excited for season and games to start. I'm like, I could play in like half a game and I'd be satisfied. Like it's more than I got last year. It's more than like some people have at this point. I'm really excited for her because I think she is so much more of a leader, a mature player, a dynamic player now uh, than before the injury. And um, so I'm excited to see her enjoy that, enjoy that moment, enjoy the, the fruits of all her labor of rehab and the mindset of getting back. Skiing with space, she finds one. Izzy Skeen is back on the scene. After 98 goals in 2021, she gets her first of 2023. Being on the field is just like a different experience. Like having all the people like around you and your like teammates like celebrating with your teammates and like the hugs on the field. Like that part I remember missing like a lot last year is like when someone scores, everyone just like claps and you all like hug and you're so excited for each other. Skeen on board. Getting to step back from life for a little bit and kind of like figure things out and really think about how lucky I am with where I'm at and the people around me and like who I am as a lacrosse player was a really big part of it for me. And I think all the pressure of like points and stats and kind of that kind of goes away when you're just like very happy to be playing and having a lot of fun. And I think I definitely was brought back into that like by this injury, which I'm very thankful for. Career best tying, 10 goals for Izzy Skein. Here's Izzy Skein, already two goals to her name today. Gets the hands free and scores a first half hat trick. And that's how the story goes. The story of the bees with those four dirty paws. Izzy Skein doing Izzy Skein things, forces the turnover and covers about 70 yards all by herself.